so tonight I'm working on it's not a commission it's a request a local curling team is on their way to nationals and curling is kind of a pretty big Canadian sport men with brooms my grandfather used to curl I never curled um, when I was younger we had to do it for gym and I didn't have knee pads and it totally shredded my knees so I was like you know what there are other winter activities I could do but they asked if I could create um, an abstract style of curling painting by Friday for entry into their silent auction donation. But yes, of course, I'm a crazy artist, but I'll show you how it turned out. So, the problem with doing it last minute is you don't get a lot of time to research. So, there was not a lot of time to learn curling like I should know, like a good Canadian person should know. But the lovely lady who talked to me on Facebook uh, said that when the broom touches the rock, it's called the burnt rock. So it has a beautiful name, courtesy of Miss Gingera. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited. I used some modeling paste to get some really nice texture here in the bristles. We went with an old-fashioned broom. New brooms are much more um, kitchen-friendly looking to me, which is probably a horrible thing to say, so please don't come at me. But I like the look of the old-fashioned broom. It kind of reminded me of my grandfather. I can still remember wearing his green and red with patches curling sweater to high school, thinking it was super cool, having never thrown a rock in my life. But I'm an artist, not necessarily a good decision maker. An artist likes to take risks. So I really had a lot of fun. I hope this lighting isn't too, too awful, friends. I'm getting a bunch of layers on there. I went really into it with my palette knife to create dimension that you would see because this is ice, right? It's not just a poster. It's not just flat white. There's light reflecting from the top of the curling rink. It bounces all over the place when you play. This is, you know, the happy zone. This is where you want your ball, but you don't want the broom on it. <laughs> Again, burnt rock. So that's down in here. Sign it. Yeah. So I'm super excited. I'm glad I did it round. I think that's kind of unique. It'll stand out for the person who gets the basket. I hope they're die-hard curling fans and that it finds its way into their, you know, man cave or basement sanctuary or she shack for curling pros. <laughs> anyway, I'm super excited. So I so hope that they like it and that um, it's well received. You know, hope you guys have a great night. And don't forget, Etsy shop 8 a.m. tomorrow morning if you want first dibs on the Cats and Cosmos Christmas collection.